Kia what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna show you how to set up an internal hard drive for the FAT PS2 using the hard drive network adapter. Let's get started. First off, you're going to need a hard drive network adapter for the PS2. I'll leave a link in the description below on where to get them. In this day and age, most people use the SATA connection. IDE is old school, usually for old school PCs. So you want to make sure that you get the correct one for your hard drive that you are using. I've opted for the SATA connection as I have a SATA 250GB hard drive 2.5. Also going to need a USB stick. Also going to need a PS2 memory card with free McBoot installed on it. First off we want to insert our USB device into our PC and we're going to format it in FAT32. Now run the FAT32 format program and select your drive letter. Go to start and select yes or ok to start formatting it. Now copy and paste the FMC folder into the USB device that you've just formatted. This can be found in the description below. Now we want to eject it from our PC and insert it into our PS2. Next we want to insert our PS2 memory card with free McBoot on it. And lastly we want to connect our hard drive to our PS2. So connect it to the adapter first and then slide it in. Now power up your PS2 and we want to go down to launch ALF. Once that boots up, we want to go down on D-pad and press the circle button. Go to File Explorer. Next, we want to go down to Miscellaneous. Keep going down till we get to HDD Manager. Press circle button on it and wait for it to launch. Now we want to format the hard drive. Press the R1 button and go down to Format and press the circle button. Select OK and it will start formatting. This can take a minute or two depending on the size of your hard drive. The bigger the hard drive obviously the longer it will take. Once it's complete you will be presented with this screen. Now press the R1 again. We want to create a new partition and we want to call it plus OPL. Now select OK. Now we need to adjust the partition size. In order to figure this out, we're going to go here to this. If your hard drive is 750 gigabytes or less, set it to 728. If your hard drive is one terabyte, set it to 1024. If your hard drive is more than one terabyte, you need to set it to 1536. My hard drive is less than 750 gigabytes, so I'm going to select 768 press the circle button and then press it again on OK, give it a second to do its thing and now we have our partition. Now we want to exit this, press the triangle button once, go down to file browser and press the circle button, go use the d-pad to go down. Now we want to go down to mass, use the d-pad press circle on it and we want to go into this folder here the FMC folder press the circle button now scroll down to fmcbinstaller.elf and press the circle button to launch it now tap the R1 button again I'm going to go down to install FHDB. This will install FreeMic Boot onto the hard drive. 
go down with the d-pad and press the X button go down to yes and press the X button one more time once this has completed we can shut the PS2 off we can permanently remove the PS2 memory card with free McBoot on it and we can also permanently remove the USB stick that we have inserted remove the hard drive from the PS2 and insert it into your PC either using a USB to SATA cable or using its own internal SATA and power supply to run the HDL batch installer as administrator you can find this in the description below if it asks for updates you can do so I'm not going to do this I'm going to skip it now we want to search for a hard drive click on search PS2 hard drive so it'll do it automatically for you once it finds it we can now search for our games folder so click on search games on the right hand side you can add games as ISOs or bin and queue. I'm going to add an ISO first just do the one game for now just double click on it or select open and your game will be populated in the list on the left hand side as you can see there next hit install and it will transfer the game over it doesn't matter if the game is over 4.5 gigabytes Usually if you have a FAT32 device it will say no, but this program will do it for you. Once the game transfers over, you will get a notification or an audible notification that it has completed. Now it's time to see if our hard work has paid off. Once that's completed, eject the hard drive from your PC and reinsert it into your PS2 and power it on. If you power on your PS2 and you don't see the free McBoot logo, this is because your hard drive isn't connected or pressed into the connections properly, so double check it and it should come up with the free McBoot menu. Now we go down to open PS2 loader. we need to set up the settings this is a one-off thing we don't need to do this every time we turn it on press X on settings go down to the bottom to HDD device start mode press X on it and select automatic press X again go down to default menu change it to HDD games press X go down to OK press X go all the way down to save changes press X once that's done press the circle button now if you want to go to the games list press the circle button as it says there and there is your game If you want to install more games to the hard drive, simply remove it from the PS2, reinsert it into your PC, and run the HDL batch installer as administrator, and of course search for your hard drive again, and then the games folder, select your games, install them, and then reinsert it back into your PS2. So for those of you who are absolute noobs to the free McBoot menu and things like that, every time you want to play a game, you just power on your PS2, go down to open PS2 loader, 
press X on it to run it. Once it boots up, of course it will go into this menu here. You just simply press the circle button and it will bring up your games list. This is how you find your games every time you turn the PS2 on. That's it for this video. In the next one I'm going to show you how to download the covers for the games. If you've learned something today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ciao!